Welcome in this video we are going to merge the lessons from previous videos. We will merge the Spring Boot project with a Spring Authorization Server, three Spring Resource Servers, a Spring Cloud Gateway and an Angular app with the Google Authenticator. We are going to build a multi-factor authentication project. We start an eclipse with the new code, the code from the previous videos is not discussed here. For this we would like to refer you to the other videos. In the POM XML we can see that we have switched to the new Spring Boot 3.1.5. In addition to the existing dependencies, we now have the two-factor auth dependency, which allows us to contact the Google Authenticator app. In application YAML we have a new key, which is used to encrypt sensitive information in the database. The user record has been adjusted with a number of fields that we need to properly implement multi-factor authentication. Security question. Answer. MFA secret. MFA key ID. MFA enabled. MFA registered and security question enabled. In the user config class we have an additional bean, bytes encryptor, to be able to secure keys in the database. The custom user detail service has also been expanded, with all fields of the user record and the bytes encryptor. The authenticator service class has also been extended with the bytes encryptor bean. We use the bytes encryptor here to decrypt the keys. The code store class is a new class to temporarily store the codes and secrets for each user separately. Pay particular attention to the session scope annotation, which allows you to create a new code store for each session. The new MFA authentication class extends anonymous authentication token. We use this authentication class to create an anonymous user between each step of the authentication. The trick here is to include the original authentication as primary authentication. The MFA handler class implements authentication success handler. This class is used to handle success at each step in multi-factor authentication. In the private method, the MFA authentication is stored in the security context every time. The changes in the security config class are two new request matchers. Registration and authenticator with has authority role MFA required. And the security question request matcher with has authority role security question required. And the success handler MFA handler. And the failure handler simple URL authentication failure handler. The last custom class is the login controller. We start with a number of variables. Private final security context repository. Private final registration failure. Private final authenticator failure handler. Private final security question failure handler. Private final security question success handler. With constructor injection we make a number of beans available. Authentication success handler. Authenticator service. Custom user detail service. Password encoder. And code store. And a few endpoints. Login. Registration, this endpoint is only for new users. Here a QR code is created and made visible on the screen. You must scan this QR code with the Google Authenticator app on your smartphone. And enter the code you receive. In the post request the code is checked and we go one step further. Authenticator, this is for existing users. Here you must enter the code of the Google Authenticator app. In the post request the code is checked and we go one step further. And security question, for the users who need it. Here you have to answer a question and in the post request the answer is checked and the authentication stops. 
The private methods get authentication and get user. Used to retrieve the temporary data from the security context. The last three files are simple HTML pages with a form where you can enter the answers. In the registration page you will receive a QR code and you must enter a code. You must enter the code in the authenticator page. And in the security question page you have to answer a question. This is it for today. As always, you can find the code on GitHub. And you can always contact us with your questions. Don't forget to support us and see you next time. Thank you.